So I thought I'd go ahead and look at both of the oscilloscopes with a little higher frequency. I've got a little can oscillator here. Sorry for the glare. That is 63.504 megahertz. It's in this little E and L LD1 pencil box designer. I've had this forever. Uh, it's currently being powered off a of wall warp. Coming in over here. Uh, it's just a simple little logic little logic design station with a couple of switches and a clock and a logic level indicators and such. Uh, there's a little circuit diagram up here in the lid. Kind of give you an idea what it is. I used to collect E and L stuff. I had several MMD1s and MMD2s and all kinds of analog and digital design stations and I've got a really nice still E and L design station and I've got this little pencil box design which just because I thought it was really cute. I've sold off the rest of my ENL collection ages ago, but uh, anyhow, let me get the lights off and we'll fire this all up and take a look. So we're powered up. The little can oscillator is doing its thing. Well, let me get sync back here. So there's the Roden Schwartz. Uh, having a hard time maintaining uh, trigger. So remember, this is a 63.504 megahertz crystal. We can see on the road in shorts, the mean is 63.50. We can see the uh, current bouncing around a bit. We've got a, a nice clean waveform there. Uh, there's a little bit of jitter. Oh, not sure what's causing the trigger to drop off like that. It may just be power problems on the little designer. Come over to the Rigol. Frequency is showing less than 15 kilohertz. Well, we know that's not correct. Ooh. That was reading correctly earlier. I wonder why it's not measuring frequency. Hmm. Okay, I'm back after playing for a moment and noticed something a little bit interesting. Uh, I hadn't realized this before. So if you watch the frequency, it's down there at about 63.5. As I shift through, I'm moving the trigger up and down here. The reading stays consistent. So the frequency counter here is doing a really good job. Uh, tracking you know the main frequency on that waveform. If I come over to the Rigol, you can maybe see up there that it shows the frequency is less than 15 kilohertz and that threw me for a long time. As I bring the trigger down, suddenly it starts to show frequency. It's showing 13 megahertz, 20, 37. I'm not exactly sure what I'm seeing here, whether this is a bug So there's the 63.504, which is what the uh, little oscillator is. I just find it interesting that uh, I've got to be triggered near the center of the waveform to measure frequency on. That may have just always been true with the Rigals, and I had never noticed before. But it's interesting I can be triggering in a different spot and actually be getting a very inaccurate uh, reading. Anyhow, I get this back to where it's measuring correctly. I, you know, I wanted to take a look here at. Oops. So we are at, of course, five nanoseconds per division here on the Rigol. Uh, you know, it's not a bad waveform. Come back over to the road in Schwartz. I get the triggering up here, we're a little bit cleaner signal. We're just triggering at the peak. We get a much nicer look. Uh, that looks pretty clean. It doesn't have all the jitter on it due to the trigger point dancing around. We can, of course, bump the time scale out to one nanosecond and see that, you know, that looks pretty good. Uh,
triggering the monitor off for a second there. So one of the things I'm noticing is I think the triggering on the rodent squirts is much better. And then I can just get here to the peak and get a trigger. Well, it's going to make a liar out of me. Just get into the peak and get a nice solid trigger and get a really good clear look at that waveform. Get back over to the Rigol and you can see the waveform is dancing around. Uh, it's nice and fuzzy. That's again due to triggering. And if I start to peek this out, it'll actually clean up as I get higher and higher. I can get in here and get a pretty clean as well, but the uh, frequency counter stops working and it makes me wonder what I'm missing here. Uh, makes me wonder, hmm, I don't know. Triggering up. Of course, I could go into the advanced triggering options and, and, and clean this up. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'm just really playing here. Uh, I do like the statistics there along the bottom. You know, 63.52, it's dancing around a bit. The uh, frequency, uh, the maximum, yeah, you can see the min, max, the mean, the mean's dead on, 63.540, or 50, sorry. Uh, the number of waveforms it's measured counting up there. If we go in and reset the statistics. You can see now the minimum is you know, up around 63.4 megahertz. Uh, this was actually uh, running, you know, doing the little uh, frequency counter before when I had the little uh, design lab off. Anyhow, there's a quick look at a couple of sine waves at the highest frequency I'm capable of producing here easily. Uh, bring your triggering back down. There they are, side by side. Uh, continue to be really impressed with the Roden Schwartz. I mean, they're both impressive scopes. Uh, certainly, uh, the Rigol, the uh, earlier Rigol I had, the 100 mega or the 50 megahertz fit, fit my needs well. Uh, the Roden Schwartz is a little overkill for me, but you know, it's a great scope and it's a really nice addition. Can't wait to get it up on the bench and actually put it into service. Anyhow, hope maybe something here was useful, and we'll talk later. Bye. So I thought I'd go in and play a little further with the uh, triggering here on the road shorts. And one of the things I've noticed that's interesting here is if we trigger on the positive edge, get back to the positive edge, you can see we've got that noise. Uh, if I trigger on the trailing edge, it actually cleans that up quite a bit. I get a better trigger there. And of course, zero crossing either way is going to make a mess, but uh, I'm actually surprised that cleans that up as well as it does. You know, and of course, noise reject doesn't help. Uh, got a lot of playing to do to get used to this scope. But you know, that's pretty clean. Measure, reset the statistics. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's not bad.